Hi, my name is Brian and uh, I'm a computer tech in South Florida and today we are going to uh, replace a video card in an HP Pavilion oh I don't know what this thing is it's a, uh, it's a Pavilion M9350F is a common um, you know store-bought HP machine years ago and uh, the video card has gone bad. This one's been souped up a little bit. So uh, the tools we're going to use today are a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and obviously we need our video card that uh, we're going to replace. It's a PCI Express card um, and uh, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a deep, the, the replacement card isn't really all the, as uh, good as the card that's in the machine but the client didn't request a high-end card, just kind of wanted to do an economical repair. So the first thing we got to do is take off this top cover. I like to lay my desktop machines down on their side when I do work like this because I'm going to be physically going down inside of the machine and um, you know it's 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 much easier when they're on their side. So go ahead and loosen the back screw and then you're going to slide that over until it clicks. This whole thing lifts right straight up. Set that aside and this is the video card right here. Uh, this guy right here, this G-Force um, little card right here. First thing you're going to want to do is um, disconnect the power. There's an auxiliary power on the back of this thing. And you just pinch the connector, slide it back, and it comes right off. It's a six-pin connector. And then this right here, this little guy, this is uh, um, connected to the motherboard. This tells whether or not the fan on the, on the, uh, the video card is spinning or not. Um, we're going to disconnect that. And then we're going to pull the screw off of this little panel here. And set it aside. Okay. And this whole piece comes right off. And that's the, 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 the card uh, seating um, thing. I don't know what the heck you call it. But anyhow, now there's a, a little tiny tab here that holds this card in place. And you're going to want to pull that away from the card and then pull straight up to unseat the card. Okay. I just went ahead and unseated it and now I'm just gently pulling it out straight out. This particular card the fan had failed and so this thing was getting really really hot and um, and you know that's obviously not good. We caught it before it took the motherboard with it. A lot of times when these get really really warm they start um, you know working on other things. Heat is a is a killer inside of computers. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and open up our new card here. And I just went down to a local retail place and picked one of these up because it's kind of a rush job for this client. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just put it back down in. Now something to consider when you buy a video card, you, know, you need to know that they're kind of thick at times. And some of the bigger ones have you know some girth to them. So it may not fit in your machine. So just double check that before you buy one that you've got the room. Alright, so now I'm just going to replace it and I'm going to push straight, now that it's lined up with the slot, I'm going to go ahead and click it into place. Very simple. And I'm going to take my little uh, piece of sheet metal here, seat it back down, replace my screw. Tighten it down, and that should be that. This particular card did not have auxiliary power and it did not have a connection point for the fan. So we're just going to go ahead and leave those disconnected. Probably just wrap them up and pinch them between some cables in here so that they don't get caught in fans because you got a couple of fans right here. And if you've ever turned on a machine and you hear click, 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 and it's not the hard drive clicking, it's most likely a little wire that's dangling in front of a fan. So we just like to kind of tension those up. All right, we're well, going to plug it in and see if it works uh, and uh, get it going. Okay, so... Uh, we plugged her into the test bench here and we're booting it up for the first time and as you can see uh, we have video <clears throat> initially we're gonna have some video coming out of this thing and it's gonna boot into Windows 7 here um, you're probably going to have to load the driver with Windows 7 um, most of the time it'll find the driver the video looks pretty good to me um, to see here and notice I didn't put the, the panel back on, and I, and I did that because I just know better. Sometimes you have to get in there and make some other changes, and you may want to get in there and, and um, you know, clean the fans and things. It's a good time to be doing that. You know, grab a vacuum, disconnect all the power, go in, grab some compressed air, blow out the fans, 
and you know uh, get it clean on the inside. Heat and dust are going to kill your machine faster than anything else. And if you do regular maintenance like that while you're inside of your machine, you're going to uh, you know uh, extend the life of the machine. So looks like uh, we're all set up here, and uh, she's running good. And we're going to just make sure the correct driver's installed and uh, call it a day. Call the client, and have them come pick up their machine. Uh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it, and please subscribe.